General McPherson started out as commander of the Presidio in San Francisco, wound up going to Tennessee, become, taking over the army of Tennessee during the Civil War, and wound up following Sherman's march down to Atlanta, where he died in the Battle of Atlanta. My job in the military was as a Russian linguist. Um, I was taught Russian while in the military for the United States Air Force. Really enjoyed the military. I probably would have done longer years within the military. Um, but I mean, it was a it, it taught me to keep pushing no matter what. We had a house in uh, Alexandria. Spent a lot of time reading. You know, I love history, always have and always will. That's a man who, uh, people who don't study history don't repeat it. I know that I needed some discipline in my life, so that's when I decided to go into the Marine Corps. When I lost my job and uh, no income. My son, my youngest son is um, 10 years old. I've seen a lot more homeless veterans than I have, just regular homeless people. But we ended up uh, living in their car. I came to be homeless because I gave up on life. I got laid off and uh, not long after that lost my apartment and had to send my kids off to the winds with family and friends trying to help. We lived in the car for a little over three months. I remember sleeping in the parking lot in my truck, you know, with just me and all of my things. And now we're starting to see people are just coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And I was applying daily. I mean, all the alerts are coming to my phone trying to tell me new jobs that out. I would get alerts at one or two in the morning and try to hurry up and be one of the first resumes out there. Notice some lights flashing and a police officer in his car came driving up. Navy went in uh, when I was young. And looking at my kids, I knew it wasn't an option not to do whatever I had to do to make sure we would be okay. It's been almost about three and a half years now. The VA homeless department actually directed me over to Veterans on the Rise, and that's when I actually got help. I was lucky. Um, I made a few phone calls and uh, was admitted into the program. Veterans on the Rise is actually an organization that was founded in D.C. Their main office is off of Sheriff Road, that's in the Northeast. Uh, it's a transitioning program. Uh, you get off the streets, they have great services, case counseling services. I was in Veterans on the Rise from March until July. We got housed as a family. This is our dining area. What grade you Fifth. Uh, was it hard keeping up with your schoolwork during the time you were uh, between houses? Well, I tried to keep up with it all. I couldn't keep, re I really couldn't keep up because there was so much work to do, so much things to be done. I haven't heard about this, so. I'd love to write down their information for you, give you their number. You can definitely speak with the caseworker. Resume writing to, um, mock interviews with the panel to help you feel comfortable as well as sending us over to America Works making sure we're registered with them because they were a job referral source for veterans um, and they really had great jobs they also did resume writing classes they helped you revamp it um, as needed and would send that resume out for you to get interviews. Well there are any number of reasons why veterans uh, end up homeless. Um, I ain't got nothing to lose and everything to gain. They may include employment or lack thereof, family uh, problems, um, substance abuse. Into transitional housing uh, so that you can recoup, so that you can rest uh, your mind and your spirit. Get you back on track where you need to be, where you want to be. Just a situation where they lost their way and 
need to get back on track. And if you have a serious desire to get back on track, Veterans on the Rise is a tremendous opportunity to begin that process. We kind of were like a family. We had someone who identified with our struggle and where we'd been and what we've been through and we kind of understood one another and were able to sit down and talk and do things together. We go out to the museums and take him to the museums and get ice cream on the weekends. We had Sunday outings and stuff like that. So yeah, we it was a pretty, yeah, went to game stop for him. <laughs> where I need to be, where I want to be, both the same thing right now. And this cop comes up and I think it's going to be another, what are you people doing here? You have to leave, go to a shelter or whatever. Okay, so it's Veterans on the Rise, short VOTR. The phone number is 202-388-4090. But what he did was, he rolled his window down and he handed us or handed me a container full of cookies that his wife had made especially for us and said Merry Christmas and it was just absolutely incredible. Pretty good, man. Are you a veteran by any chance? Yep. Awesome.